It's not every day that ghost hunters become the star of their own ghost story, but that's exactly what happened in December 2013. On December 26th, Celine Graham and her sister Jackie headed to O Sable Cemetery in Manuka, Illinois. Now, Manuka is a lovely little town about an hour southwest of Chicago's Loop. It's in the middle of open fields, but where the cemetery itself is, there's a cluster of woods right around it, pretty thick woods at that, and two streams merge right next to it. Now, what happens is when streams merge like that, there's a flowing of water and you're by a place of death. That could lead to something called a ghost portal. And there are reports of strange light anomalies coming from the creek. So Celine arrives, it's about noon. She comes down this dirt road called Brown Road. This is how you access the cemetery. And she pulls her Nissan Altima over. When she and Jackie get out, they go to the back of the car Celine pops the trunk, opens it, and starts pulling out some gadgets. And what she's going to use this day is she's got a digital audio recorder. And this is what you see on all the ghost shows to record those ghostly voices. They sound like whispers sometimes. But she also had an EMF meter. And this gadget detects changes in the ambient energy levels. And it beeps if there tends to be an abrupt change. That abrupt change could indicate that a ghost is manifesting. So Celine and Jackie have the gadgets and they're leaving the car when, mysteriously, the front window lowers. Now, this takes the two ladies back because, well, Celine, she had her keys. There's no way that window could come down without the key and the ignition. So she goes back, slides into the front seat, puts the key in the ignition, and raises the window. As she shuts the door and takes a few steps, window lowers again. But it's not just the driver's side, it's the front passenger side window that lowers too. Now, the two sisters are like, what, what, what's going on here? And so they get back in the car. Celine puts the key in the ignition, starts up the car, car raises the windows, and removes the key. Jackie, on her side, hits the button to lower window. Nothing happens exactly as you'd expect. So the two ladies grab their gear, close the doors, and head down the creek. After testing the windows to make sure that they won't lower on their own, they close the door and the two ladies head down the path to go to the creek. Now, there's a slight hill, so the ladies, when they walk towards the creek, they can't see their car anymore. But at last look, everything seemed fine. Now, this cemetery is also known for a little girl spirit that likes to play pranks on people. And one of those things is she lowers the <laughs> windows in cars. Generally speaking, it's overnight, not during the day. And Celine and her sister were at the cemetery at about noon. So it was broad daylight. Now, down at the creek, Selene is sitting there trying to get readings on her EMF meter. Because where you have flowing water, a place of death, you might get this ghost portal thing to manifest. And so while she's down there and testing and testing and scanning, she's not really picking anything up. So she doesn't mean that there's not a ghost portal. Generally speaking, there should be some kind of ambient energy around for that. So, Celine packs things up, and the two ladies go back up the hill to their car. And as they approach the car, they notice that all of the windows in the car are lowered. Now, both ladies are pretty freaked out. Uh, for one thing, they're thinking, okay, is there some kind of criminal element here? Was someone watching us, waiting for us to go? But still, the windows were raised when they went to the creek, and in order for them to be in the current situation, well, again, you'd have to have the keys. And the other weird thing is no windows were broken or anything like that. As soon as Celine came and she put the keys in and started up the engine, all the windows went right back up. Now, with all this craziness that was going on, Celine put her bag with her audio recorder in the back seat. And when she got home, she played that back and she heard this message. Goodbye. 
Thank you for watching Ghostly Activities. This is a, an experiment for me, I'll be honest. <laughs> I'm going to try vodcasts, video podcasts of my audio podcasts, uh, which come out once a week, generally speaking towards the weekend. And if you would, and you like this video, and you want to see more, like it, subscribe to the channel, share it on the socials, tell your friends and family about it, it would be really helpful. And I'll see you again in about a week's time with my next story. Thanks again and take care.